We are Anir and Swati and in this series we are doing a 15 days New Zealand road trip. This time we are covering South Island. If you missed our previous episodes, let us catch you up. We started our journey from the adventure capital Queenstown. From there, we visited incredible Milford Sound, beautiful Glenorchy and Wanaka. We then left Queenstown to take the Hooker Valley track and witness the grandeur of Auraki Mount Cook, the tallest mountain peak in New Zealand. After that absolute adventure, we are now driving straight from Mount Cook to Lake Tikapo. And let me tell you, this drive is nothing short of spectacular. Cruising along the edge of Lake Pukaki is something out of a dream. Everywhere you look, it feels like a wallpaper has come to life. From the majestic mountains to the crystal clear waters, every moment is a reminder of just how incredible Mother Nature is. It's moments like these that remind us why we fell in love with travel in the first place. So if you ever plan to visit New Zealand, make sure to add this scenic drive to your itinerary. We just checked into this beautiful Airbnb and from the moment we stepped inside, we were greeted by the warmth, charm and the home away from home vibe. This place is not just cozy, it's also decked out with all the amenities we could need. A living space so inviting we never wanted to leave. A plush bed and a fully stocked kitchen perfect for whipping up our favourite meals. Oh and did I mention the little touches? From fluffy towels to Netflix ready TV, this Airbnb has it all. We are driving to Lake Pukaki and will return back to Tekapo. It is around 45 kilometers from Tekapo and this lake will fall on the way when you are driving from Queenstown. Our first stop is Lake Pukaki viewpoint. As we make our way to this viewpoint, anticipation builds up with every step. And suddenly, we are greeted by the most incredible sight we have ever seen. The mesmerizing turquoise water of the lake framed by the majestic Southern Alps. As the nearby Tasman glacier melts, it releases these particles into the lake, which gives this lake a mesmerizing blue color. So Lake Pukaki is 178 square meters, and it is the largest of the three parallel alpine lakes in the Mackenzie Basin. It means Lake Pukaki is larger than Lake Tikapu. This lake has an important role in the hydroelectric power of New Zealand and is also very significant in Maui culture. Now we have reached the Puna Tahu Visitor Centre, a tranquil spot where visitors can relax, take a seat, admire the views of the lake and delve into the narratives and historical background of the area. The centre provides valuable educational insights, enriching the experience by adding depth and significance to the surroundings. Settling into our seats and taking that first sip of steaming hot coffee with such gorgeous views feels like paradise. The crystal clear water of Lake Pukaki shimmer in sunlight while the towering peaks of Southern Alps stand tall in the distance.
Every summer, the South Island is filled with the beautiful sight and smell of lupins. And one of the best places to find these is Lake Tikapo. These lupin fields are like something out of a fairy tale. Rolling hills on the background with vibrant lupins stretching as far as the eyes can see. From soft pastel hues to bold eye-catching shades. These fields are photographers dream come true. Now we are at the iconic Church of Good Shepherd, located on the shores of Lake Tekapo. It was built in 1935 as a place of worship for the early settlers. And today it is one of the most photographed buildings in the country. Quaint in stone, this church seamlessly blends into the environment. The ground surrounding the church was deliberately left with their native vegetation and even the lichen was left on the stone to give it a natural look. We have come for lunch at Reflections and enjoying the Thai curry with view of Lake Tikapo. We just can't get enough of this lake's beauty. So after the late lunch, we are going to check out another lookout point before calling it a day. It's a beautiful place where time stands still and nature's grandeur takes center stage, leaving visitors spellbound. In our next episode, we are heading to Christchurch for an unforgettable encounter with Antarctica. Be sure to hit that like button, drop a comment and subscribe to continue supporting our travel adventures.